for the following exercise. Find the slope of the line graphed. All right, so here is our line. We've got to find the slope. So how do we find the slope? Well, we can use the slope formula, right? I have it down here, and let me write it down at the top. So the slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So basically, what this is trying to say is that we can find the slope if we know the coordinates of two points, that point and this point, okay? So knowing what this means, that then determines what I'm going to now do to this line. I'm going to find two points, all right? Now it doesn't matter to me which two you choose, all right? So why don't we just, uh, let's choose this one right here, okay? And choose any other one, right? This, this would be some kind of cool magic trick if I'm like, pick a point, and then I say it's this one, and it's yours, right? I just read your mind. So let's plug in these, well, let's, in, before we plug in, let's define the coordinates there of those points. So the coordinate for this point here would be zero, one second, sorry, zero comma negative two, right? And the coordinate for this point here would be, looks like three, and then negative two. Okay, great. Now define one of those points as your first point and the other as your second. Now guess what? Doesn't matter which one you choose for which, all right? So since this one starts on the left, customarily, I guess I'll, right, do x1, y1. And then this one would be x2 minus, uh, not minus, sorry, x2 comma y2. Now all we have to do is basically plug in the values as we have defined them. So the slope here will be equal to y2, and I define my y2 value to be negative 2. That's going to be then minus my y1 value, which is negative 2. Now you have to be careful. you got to plug in that double negative, basically, okay? So then divided now by, divided by uh, x2, which is 3, okay, great, 3. Minus then x1, which is zero. All right, let's do some math. So this is the numerator now. It becomes negative two minus a minus two, which the double negative turns into a positive. So it's really negative two plus two. And what does that work out to be? Big ol' zero. Zero divided by then, three minus zero is what? Three. Well, what's zero divided by three? Zero. That's the slope, okay? That is the slope. Anytime you have zero in the numerator and a number in the denominator, it's always zero, okay? You cannot divide three into zero. Think about that. How many times does three fit into nothing? Well, no times, right? Zero times. If you had it organized the other way, meaning if the line was basically, if you look at the graph, if the line were vertical, okay, guess what the slope would be there? You might say, well, zero, two, wouldn't the zero be? Well, not exactly. The slope here would be undefined now you would have something that looked like this for uh, for that one. It depends on what you chose for your, your points. But you would have something that looked like this. You would have m is equal to then some number divided by 0. And this is now undefined because I could say to you, well, how many times does 0 fit into a number? Well, 0 is nothing. So how many times does nothing fit into something? It could be an infinite amount of times, right, basically, or an undefined amount of times. Not 0 times, but who knows how many times. All right, so this would be undefined. So a uh, vertical line would have been undefined. All right, just in case, you know, you get a question like that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, if you can help us out, we'd appreciate it so much just by hitting that subscribe button. It's totally free, and it gives you access to the same amount of content you would have had access to without subscribing. So there really is no benefit to it except just to support us. So if you could, we'd appreciate it so much. All right, thank you very much. Take care.